Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of Z Transform for ESC 563 Digital Signal Processing. The learning outcomes for this topic is the students should be able to determine Z Transform for finite and infinite sequences and analyze region of convergence ROC for given systems. Slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Dr. Hazli Hashim. The Z-transform plays the same role in the analysis of discrete time system, signals and linear time invariant system as the Laplace transform does in the analysis of continuous time signals and linear time invariant system. For example, we shall see that in the Z domain, uh, in complex Z plane, the convolution of two time domain signals is equivalent to multiplication of their corresponding Z transform. This property greatly simplifies the analysis of the response of an linear time invariant system to various signals. In addition, the Z transform provides us with a means of characterizing an linear time invariant system and its response to various signals by its pole zero locations. The Z transform of a discrete time signal is defined as the power series as shown in this equation, where Z is, the, uh, is a complex variable. The equation is sometimes called the direct Z transform because it transforms the time domain signal Xn into its complex plane representation Xz. The unilateral case of the Z transform, uh, the signals are restricted to be causal, that is they start at n equal to zero. For this equation, 